everybody. My name is Chad. You're watching Downshift Pass, and this is the 2022 Acura MDX Type S. And that's right, folks. Like I said, we have the Type S edition of the 2022 Acura MDX here. Of course, we're going to go over the exterior, the interior, go for a drive, do an audio test. And if that sounds like something you are interested in, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, folks, let's start with styling of the MDX Type S. I want to go over the subtle differences versus the regular MDX. The biggest change is going to be, of course, this Type S badge in the front here. Now, the owner of this vehicle actually blacked it out. He blacked out all the Type S badges on this car, and I think it looks really, really cool. So you do have that Type S badge to let you know what this vehicle is. Now, as we take a look at this headlight unit, this is an all LED unit. So headlight, bright light, turn signal, uh, daytime running light is all LED. And then of course you do have fog lights way down below, which are also LED. Now, as we look at the air intakes here, they're all painted in a gloss black, which looks really, really awesome. And then the grill actually on a regular MDS is gonna be chrome, but it's actually body color on the Type S. And I think it aids in the uh, sporty factor that this vehicle kind of gives you. Now, as we move along to the side of the Type S, this is when you're gonna notice that this one has the advantage advanced package and you can tell basically by those wheels right there these are exclusive to the type s advanced package they're 21 inch wheel 275 with tire these are on continentals and if you take a look behind that wheel you do have large brembo brakes in the front of the mdx not in the rear but in the front they are brembo brakes you have those red brake calipers and again that is a type s exclusive and it looks really awesome here's another type s badge on the fender here also blacked out by the owner mirror caps are also black out this is from the factory it's a nice gloss black with the turn signal on the mirror up above you do have some roof rails kind of sort of a roof rail there those are also gloss black and i just love the gloss black all on this vehicle instead of like you know the matte or the plastic that they usually have looks really awesome now as we move along to the back of the mdx now the tail light design is still that chicane style that you have in the front which looks really awesome of course the led brake light here led turn signal led reverse light just led everywhere do have your type s badging in the rear this is also blacked out by the owner then on the right hand side you have your mdx badge and then of course you have your super handling all-wheel drive badge the super handling all-wheel drive is standard on all type s models if you have not experienced it make sure you stick around for the drive and i'll talk about it a little bit more and then this is what you get the type s for take a look at those exhaust pipes now you do have quad exhaust setup here it looks really really awesome i think accurate for keeping real exhaust pipes alive but let's go ahead and hear how they sound All right, folks, now that was the exhaust of the MDX Type S. I want you to let me know in the comments, what'd you think of it? Were you impressed, not impressed, expecting a little bit more? Just let me know what you thought about it. Uh, but what you heard was this right here. This is Acura's three liter V6 turbocharged engine, same engine that's in the TLX Type S, produces 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission, a quicker shifting 10-speed automatic transmission according to Acura, and gas mileage for the Type S is going to be 17 in the city, 21 on the highway for a combined mileage of 19 miles per gallon, which is not terrible considering the size of this vehicle and the power it produces. All right, folks, and hopping into the Type S here, this is the Acura corporate key. You do have some subtle uh, badging here on the back with the Type S badge. And then on the front of the key, you have your lock, unlock, press the hold for your tailgate, or you have your engine remote start. You just press the engine hold button, the car will beep, do its thing, and it will start right up if you want to cut it off you just press and hold that again now if you want to hop into the rear the tailgate you just press and hold this button here and then the tailgate will pop 
open for you. Now this is a three row SUV, of course. If you wanna fold them down, you just have these latches here. You just pull them, the headrest folds, and then you have to manually push it down. You have cup holders in the rear as well. And in the cargo area, this is gonna be your cargo space in the back of the MDX with the seats folded down, you have that additional space. So nice large space back here. You do have power outlets as well. And if you, and if you wanna close the tailgate, you just push the button at the top and it closes right on up. Now, of course, this is keyless everything. So with the key in your pocket, if you wanna unlock the door, just put your hand behind the handle and it'll unlock, mirrors will unfold. And if you wanna lock it, you just put your hand on this these lines here, it'll lock right up. But I'll go ahead and unlock it so we can hop into the rear of the MDX. Now let's start with this third row seat right here. I'm not gonna hop in, but I do love how they have it all in red. And you even have speakers back here. This does have the upgraded ELS uh, audio system. So 25 speakers, speakers everywhere in this car. I mean, everywhere speakers everywhere of course you have cup holders in the back right here and a decent amount of leg room for kids I, if you were an adult i wouldn't be comfortable on a long road trip but it will get the job done for the kiddos now if you want to get to the back to the third row there is a button here you just push that and then the seat just kind of slides forward a little mechanism there but let's go ahead and hop in the rear of the mdx now i do have the driver's seat in my position i am five foot eight plenty of space back here you do have map pockets in the doors and then of course you do have some manual sunshades here that you can let up and down and then of course just more speakers again it's 25 speakers everywhere um but let's take a look at this ceiling here the sun in this car is massive and that's what i love about it there's really no bad seat in the house these seats are also very comfortable in the back and if you want this middle seat to be folded down you just pull this tether here and then boom it folds down to kind of create a captain situation you do have two cup holders space for your phone or anything else and then this seat actually can just come out with the pull of that tether as well now you do have climate control in the rear as well as heated seats which is a really awesome feature to have and then you have more power outlets down below and then usb ports as well so everything rear seat passengers could need really is back here but let's go ahead and take a look at the front all right folks let's step into the mdx and get the car started up here of course acura gives you a little bit of show there and it says type s as well just push the uh, button to start here and you have some nice neat little animations now, anytime you start the vehicle, it is going to start in its normal mode. This gauge cluster is customizable, uh, but this is what it looks like in normal mode. But let's talk about the materials here. Now, for a $70,000 vehicle, this hard plastic is just unacceptable here. But this open pour wood looks really amazing. You do have some gloss black here, but it's not in high touch areas, so it won't be terrible. And this one, of course, has the red leather seats, as you see. So you do have red uh, stitch leather on the door as well as the dash all around the vehicle and i think that looks really awesome let's go ahead and talk about these gauges here this is the normal mode of course now you do have your dynamic mode button here which you will probably mistake for volume control until you get used to the car i did it several times but this is in normal mode and then you just switch you just turn the knob i love the noise it makes for the different modes so you have snow comfort normal sport and then turn to hold for sport plus mode and then if you take a look at the gauges this is sport plus that is sport normal comfort snow and then you have lift mode. Now lift mode, this vehicle is an Acura exclusive as well. It does have load leveling and adjustable suspension. So when you put it in lift mode, this vehicle raises up to its maximum level. And I think it looks really, really awesome. It'll only stay that mode until a certain amount of power, then it'll start lowering itself again. Um, and when you put it back in sport and sport plus mode, it just lowers itself. I'll go ahead and include some footage of that so you can see it working because it works pretty fast. Now the steering wheel is wrapped in leather and it is perforated on the sides here. It is a heated steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel as well with the type S badging. On your left hand side is what's going to control all 
your volume, your radio knobs, everything um, to control the infotainment. And then you do have your heated steering wheel button there. And on the right hand side is going to be all of your cruise control functions. You do have paddle shifters as well to control the 10 speed automatic transmission. They have a nice tactile feel and they feel really nice. And then of course in the middle console, same infotainment that you get in every other MDX. I'll go ahead and link my video to the MDX A spec that I did so you can see more of an in-depth review of how this infotainment system is. Now some goodies that you do get that are exclusive to the Type S, of course you have your cooled and heated seats, but the Type S does come, the Type S Advance I should say, does come with uh, massaging seats on the driver as well as the passenger side. So you have three levels of intensity here and if you press and hold on the screen it's going to show you the different um, different type of massages that you can get. So wave, step, awake, it's so many, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine different level or nine different types of massages that you can get, three different levels to choose from. I usually keep it in wave and just drive along with that. It's a really awesome feature that they include that a lot of the competition does not include. Now, if you press the Acura button in the middle, press and hold it, that's going to be for your individual settings. So you could control the uh, engine noise, how the steering feel, the suspension, uh, lighting gauge. You can control so much with this vehicle um, from the individual mode. Then, of course, you have driver and passenger climate controls. And of course, you have rear climate controls. All of your power. I love this here. You could hide this here if you don't want to see it but if you do need it you have a USB-C as well as a regular USB port this is your 10 speed auto transmission here it's all push button and if you push it again it puts the transmission in sport mode so sport plus plus sport mode in the transmission makes for a very engaging drive we'll talk about and then of course this is how you control the infotainment this lot nice large screen that you get here is not touch screen this is called true touch you just kind of touch where you want it to go and you definitely get used to it over time but it is a little bit of a learning curve uh, you do have wireless charging two cup holders a place to put all your miscellaneous items then you have a nice size middle console area here and then coming down below you do have your nice size glove compartment it is lined with felt as well as damp and overall this interior just looks really really awesome you have memory seats driver and passenger let me not forget that because i love that feature as well and just so many different features that you get on the type s versus the regular mdx but guys i know why you are here this is a type s let's go for a drive all right folks and we're setting out here in the 2022 acura mdx type s I'm really excited about this one guys type s advanced package now we're going to go ahead and start with a launch i have this empty stretch of highway here i do have the car in a sport plus setting that's going to tight tighten everything up steering wheel suspension it's going to lower the suspension because remember this does have the air suspension and the transmission here i'm going to put in a sport mode so just tap that d one more time you'll see the s there all your boost gauges and everything pop up now this does not have a launch control but you can brake boost it Acura says it does zero to 60 in five and a half seconds you tell me what you think so foot on the brake on the gas boost here we go all right one thing this car will do is get out of the way <laughs> it is really quick really really quick and as we pull out here i'm going to keep it in this sport plus setting because if you're watching this video you probably are a little bit of an enthusiast or definitely want something with a little more power so that's what we are going to talk about take a look at how it holds the gears in the sport plus setting now Acura was definitely on to something when they decided to throw the Type S badge on the MDX. And when I heard it had the same engine as the TLX, I was pretty excited about that. But when I heard it had the same power numbers as the TLX Type S, I was a little concerned, wondering if it would be enough. And I can tell you right now that this is enough power. Now does it deserve the Type S badge? As we drive a little bit more, I'll get into that. Uh, but power-wise, 
you'll definitely be more than satisfied with the 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque. The one really great thing that brings this engine alive is the 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, Acura says the one in the Type S, the 10-speed in the Type S, is geared a little bit more for quicker shifts than the uh, standard MDX. And I mean, it pops off the shifts pretty good. And it's very, very smooth as it does it. Something to be said about a car this large moving as rapidly as it does. And those shifts, like I said, they snap off really quick. Almost like a dual clutch, but Honda's 10 speed is fantastic. Now, one of the biggest gripes that I had with the MDX uh, A-Spec, the standard MDX, was dynamically the car just did not do what it looks like it should. And you know what, I'm on the highway. Let me put this in comfort mode, because this thing is bouncing me around. You'll probably notice an immediate difference in how the camera is not shaking anymore. But um, dynamically, it just did not do what it looked like it should. Now, this car answers all of that from the steering feel to the way that it handles to the way that it soaks up road bumps to um, the adjustable suspension, obviously. It handles everything just so, so much better. And honestly, Acura doesn't really have much competition when it comes to um, sportier offerings of an SUV of this size. Now, of course, you do have your X5s, um, which is not going to be as big. And for instance, the BMW X7, which is just going to be a lot more expensive. Uh, but for the features that you get in this vehicle and the price point, they're kind of on point with that. The price is a little steep, I think, for, for the car. But when you factor everything in, you actually have pretty good value in the vehicle. And of course, you have Honda reliability. Now, let's talk seat comfort. In the Type S, you do have a little bit more tighter bolstering on the seats. And you definitely notice um, they hold you in place. In they hold you in place really, really well. They feel really comfortable. And of course you have the massaging seat function, which you know what, to drive with that on is just so, so relaxing. A lot of the massage functions in some cars just feel like air blowing the seats up and down, up and down. This car actually feels like one of your massage seats at home. And with the nine different settings, you can kind of choose to uh, your liking, which is really awesome. So with a massage seat plus the heated seat, Make sure you keep your eyes open when you're driving this vehicle. Now, as far as handling goes, when you do have it in this sport setting, keep in mind, this does have the super handling all wheel drive, which puts the power down brilliantly. Look at that, no wheel spin, quick shifting. So awesome. <laughs> But you are going to realize that you are in a full-size SUV. Now, it's a lot more nimble um, than your standard MDX, of course. And it feels a lot more uh, stable, a lot more planted. It feels okay to do the, those things in this vehicle. But eventually, you get to the point, especially with the brakes, where you realize, all right, I'm in a full-size SUV. Let me relax just a little bit. Now, those Brembo's are eager to bite. They feel really good at initial tip-in. But once you start getting in there... They start feeling a little mushy, and I don't know what it is. In typical Honda fashion, the fade is there. The brake fade just comes on relatively quickly, actually. 
all right folks now the audio system in this car is the upgraded audio again this is the this is the advanced package it has every feature imaginable thrown at you so this is going to be a 25 speaker that's right guys it is speakers everywhere in this vehicle everywhere i was looking i was like there, there's a speaker in the footwell here it's crazy the footwell on the right hand side there's a speaker speakers in the ceiling there's speakers everywhere in this car and if you know acura products their audio systems are really top tier so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get this audio system test started let me know what you think watching my channel for any amount of time you know I absolutely adore Acura's ELS audio system and what they did what they do what they did whatever they did with the stereo system it is really awesome to me no matter what you throw at it no matter the type of music no matter how loud you cut it there is zero distortion the bass the clarity the everything is just beyond good in this audio system uh, the bass is not even turned up. It's one of those uh, stereo systems where you really just have to cut the bass down sometime and not because it's too boomy or it starts rattling everywhere in the car. It, it's just too much. It's just so much that you're like, you know what, maybe I should cut this down a bit. But you know what, you guys let me know down in the comments what you thought about the audio system. Would you go for the advanced package just for the audio system? I'm gonna vote yes on that. And if you're an audiophile like myself, you absolutely, absolutely should. But let me know if you think it's worth it. <laughs> You'll have some fun in this car. Now rolling into my final thoughts on the Acura MDX Type S Advanced Package. This is a really, really awesome vehicle. It's really hard to dislike it, but what makes it hard of a recommendation or hard to sell for me would be the price. This is an over $70,000 vehicle. And when you start getting into the 70s, you start being getting into some really, really great company of vehicles. Of course, you have the Germans, um, who just make a little bit more of an engaging vehicle, a little bit more luxurious. And that's when you realize the Acura MDX kind of starts to fall apart in comparison to now. Of course, you have great features. Of course, you have the 25 speaker audio system. You have the adjustable air suspension. You even have the massage seats. You have some really awesome things that you get on the car, but you also have that price tag when you have so many other better options out there to choose from as far as um, luxury tech and even performance 
Now, I definitely want to give big ups to Acura for keeping the Type S brand alive. I would say if this car was in the high 50s, maybe even low 60s, it would be a little bit of an easier sell, but at over $70,000, I'm not sure who I would recommend this vehicle to. All right, folks, if you made it this far in the video, I absolutely appreciate you for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you enjoy. Hit that thumbs up bell if you learned, or hit that thumbs up if you learned something new. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do post new content. It'll also help the algorithm and it'll also help me keep getting cool vehicles like this one here. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you in the next one.